fitness vlog today. I'm gonna be doing more weightlifting, not so much cardio. Kind of want to build up my numbers again, so I'm gonna go back to Olympic weightlifting, and I'll probably start doing some jogging, maybe some wads every other day. But today, I just kind of want to do some weightlifting. So it's not that bad. Uh, I must have to say that my last workout, I think maybe two weeks ago. I mean, not sorry. My last workout, the one I just posted not so long ago, I was doing um, snatch push press. Apparently that's behind your head, and I'm dumb because I, <laughs> I kind of did it like front rack, snatch grip front rack, which made no sense to me, but I didn't think about putting it behind my back or behind my neck to do the push press. Uh, that makes a whole lot more sense, and I'm just stupid. So today is um, snatch push press. 332211 and it's just the heaviest weight you can do and that's going to be part one part two is going to be a three position snatch uh power position hang and floor and it's gonna be two uh two by one at 70 percent uh two by one at 75 percent and one by one at 80 percent the weights work out to be like 130 135 and then 150 uh, it actually should be 130, 140, 150, but I'm not sure if I can make 140 with the weights I have, so I'll probably go to like 135. We'll see. Not uh, not sure yet. And then um, after that, there's a snatch deadlift at 165 pounds, three sets of five, which is my 90%. And then front squats 10 by three at 80%, which is around 225. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, the last time I did squats, it was only at 225 for three. I don't know if I'm gonna do 10 of those. Maybe I'll go to like 210, I mean 205 or 185, 195. We'll see, play it by ear, see how it goes towards the end. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start warming up again. Uh, gotta get my old issues on and then uh, let's get some work done. Did skip one workout, uh, the last one, the front squat, and let's just talk about everything else. I'll tell you why I didn't uh, complete the front squat. So, uh, first part, snatch push press. That went actually really well. Uh, I I didn't know where I was gonna go for this one, to be honest. Uh, yesterday's or the other days, uh, behind the neck plus overhead squat are. Uh, Push, snatch push press plus overhead squat wasn't leaving me very optimistic and uh, you know I didn't know how, how well I was going to go uh, into this workout or I didn't know how well I was going to do going into this workout but I, I think I did it right. First off I started with a 135 for my three then I moved up to 155 for my uh, set of two uh, the first set second set I did 170 felt good third set I did 185 and I was feeling really good so I went with uh, 200 pounds and that felt really good uh, my right shoulder still uh, it wasn't painful but I could just feel a little weakness uh, I don't know if that makes sense maybe if you, if you worked out a bit uh, if you're one of your uh, muscles are feeling weak you just have to I know, I'm just trying to be mindful of that. Which leads me into my second part, the three position snatch. Now, I worked up pretty okay. Started with the bar that went to 95 pounds and then that was feeling good. I think went to 115, that was feeling good. And then I got to 130 and things just felt heavy. So I got to 130. Uh, the high hang was probably the hardest only because trying to catch that weight overhead in the squat position my technique is not that great, and I think that should have been the warning sign that I, I needed to either do some more mobility or maybe just work it out with a lighter weight, but I didn't listen, kind of push, uh, push through. And so both those sets were kind of ugly for me. Um, I need to work on 
getting faster into the squat position to catch that weight overhead and just pulling myself underneath the bar and not necessarily like catching it in a power snatch position and then just riding it down. Uh, but I, I have something, to, I got a lot of work to do. 130 was okay, I did 140, which is my, my 75%. That felt uh, okay as well, it did feel heavy and because I didn't like the way that snatch was going, I kind of cut it. Uh, I didn't. I did not do the 80%, which is my 150. So I'm gonna stick to like 140, which is a kind of a good number, and I'm just not gonna uh, push it too far. Uh, so I skipped my one by one at 80% and went straight to the snatch deadlift. Uh, first set, I didn't do it with um, straps. I totally forgot that I should be using straps for this part, uh, only because like my freaking thumbs are killing me, and I have a pretty good hook grip, but only when it comes to like maybe one or two reps on the bar on the like on a snatch pull i can probably i can hook grip pretty well but if i'm gonna do it like multiple reps i'd rather use uh um i'd rather use straps just so i'm not um just so i don't like wear out my thumbs uh, because right now like my, my hands are kind of raw so it's a good thing the first set i didn't use straps second set and third set i did use straps and those last two sets felt great uh, at 165. And I skipped the front squat because one, it's already getting late, it's almost uh, been doing this for maybe an hour and a half already. Um, and I need to go inside and do some stuff, so do some housework, watch the baby. And I decided maybe I'll save the front squats for another day. Uh, I had a lot of good squat work with the snatches, so I got my legs moving a bit. So I'm not too, uh, too upset with that. But yeah, maybe in another day, I'll do some more squat work, front squats especially are a weakness right now. All squats right now are kind of a weakness for me. So hopefully I can uh, put some more work in, maybe tomorrow. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button below, subscribe, and don't forget to lift heavy and level up.